as they broke, the ground advance began. Peshmerga forces, along with the Iraqi army, are taking the lead in the offensive. It was under the cover of darkness when they took up positions around the ISIL-controlled city. The much-awaited battle to recapture Mosul has started. The time of victory has come, and hereby we announce the start of the offensive to retake the city of Mosul. We announce the start of the heroic operations to liberate you from the tyranny and the brutality of ISIL. The U.S.-led coalition is providing cover from the sky, but U.S. troops are on the ground as well. Here, their role is advisory, but under the battle rules, they could accompany troops and be placed closer to direct combat. This is the beginning of what could be a long battle. ISIL has been preparing for this fight. It has fortified its positions and dug trenches around the city of Mosul. It can also use an estimated one million people inside Mosul as human shields. This is a complex operation. The Iraqi government said there are extensive plans to protect the city and minimize casualties. But in an urban battlefield, that may not be easy. There is kilometers of ground to take before reaching Mosul's city center, ISIL's only urban stronghold in Iraq. Troops have to advance slowly because of IEDs and booby traps. ISIL tried to halt the advance on this front using a suicide car bomber. The attempt failed when Peshmerga forces destroyed his vehicle. For now, the target, at least in the northern front lines, is to recapture the outlying villages, areas that are not densely populated, areas where it is easy to clear ground using artillery and airstrikes. The fight for Mosul has brought together an unlikely alliance of forces, bitter rivals who have competing interests, but for now, have a common enemy. Mosul, because of its ethnic and sectarian diversity, has long been known as Little Iraq, and it may be in Mosul where Iraq's viability as a nation-state will be tested. Zanakhudar El-Shazira, 